All right, what's up guys? Today we got a Supreme pickup video from the week 10 drop. This is a collab item, so let's just get right into the video. All right guys, week 10. As you guys, if you're uh, new to the channel, I always kind of review the week of, that, of my pickup item. Well, let's go through the items real quick, just give you guys a refresher. I don't go through everything real in detail anymore because I do um, drop list videos on Tuesday or Wednesday where I go through everything, give you my opinion, estimated retails. So let's give a quick review of the week 10 drop. This, of course, was the Killer Collab, uh, 1989 movie by John, directed by John Woo. So the first item, of course, the most hyped item of the week was this Killer Trust T um, image on the front and then the quote on the back. The next item was a leather ID holder plus wallet. I thought that was a cool item, I just didn't want to pay $128 for it, but otherwise like a cool leather accessory. Uh, and then we had a big jacket, like one of those football jackets they always wear like on the sidelines, sleeve logo, sideline parka. That was pretty cool, definitely a heavyweight jacket. There was a stopwatch, which was super expensive. Also, for the Killer Collab, there was a box logo sticker. I did not get it. And I see something on Supreme Community now that says not online, so maybe it was only in store. So I wonder if that was just like they ran out of time and didn't print enough, so they only did it in store. Um, some Supreme Champion stuff, that was okay. Another killer hooded sweatshirt with that same kind of two, in, two images they use. Uh, killer long sleeve shirt, that was a different image, graphic on the back, that was pretty cool. Um, the killer M65 jacket, I thought that was pretty cool too. Definitely pricey of 388. We had uh, camp caps and a long sleeve. The leopard half zip sweatshirt. I thought that was like the sleep ride of the week. That was really cool, I thought. I'm not a fan of leopard print, but I just thought it, it looked cool. But um, yeah, that wasn't hyped at all. But I think that was like the sleep ride, sleep ride of the week. And then we had some of that um, thorn pattern stuff, camp cap, pants, and then the trucker jacket. And that was pretty much the whole week. It wasn't like a super heavy, high packed week of like, oh my God, there's so many things I want. It was pretty much like, like the killer collab and then that ID wallet and then the parka jacket. And that was pretty much it. So let's just get right into my pickups, guys. Whoa, thanks guys. All right, as you can tell, skateboard. Got a deck right here. This is a course from the Killer Collab. It's got that one of the two images they used right on the front of it. And as you can tell, it is a pretty, always some, sometimes the graphics are a little bit blurry because it looks like a screen grab or something like that. Like the Scarface ones were kind of blurry and some other ones. But this one, just looking at it, this is a pretty clean image. It is a little bit gritty though but it's not like distorted at all. Like the ET one, I feel like was pretty distorted, but especially from far away, it looks really clear. You got the, two, the image right here, Supreme Box logo in the front over the four back poles. On the other side, I thought this was cool. Black uh, top ply. They actually put it, the other image from the movie, a John Woo film, the killer right here, but they also put an image on the back deck. And I haven't really seen Supreme do anything like that before. I know of like the Supreme like, uh, Skull's deck, there'll be an image, image repeat all over the back, but I've never seen just one image right there. They did do the Scarface stuff with all the text on the back, but I think that's pretty cool they added that right there. Supreme Box logo below it, and of course they threw in the Supreme Box logo and the wraps now. That's what they, they've been doing with the decks in the uh, past few, a couple years or something like that. Yeah, I didn't get any stickers with this order. This is all I got was the deck. I didn't really think anything. This was 66 bucks, but either way too. Haven't been looking at resale or anything like that. It was like, hem, I think like somewhat hyped. Like it sold out, but like if you wanted it, you pretty much got it. I would say these are reselling around like 120, maybe a little bit lower than that. But I'm happy I got the deck. I like to grab things when they do uh, collabs with like movies or bands or something like that. Cause it's kind of cool to like have just different uh, kind of pop culture stuff, different art on the walls and just like a Supreme logo or something like that. So happy to get the deck. Definitely is a bigger deck. If anyone is interested, it looks like an 8.5. And yeah, it's pretty much the whole thing. I didn't pick up too much. I didn't think anything else was really that amazing. Uh, I'm real selective now with what I pick up. Uh, I buy some other things from just like non-Supreme stuff. So I just don't want to spend all my money on Supreme just because, you know, it's like Supreme. But yeah, happy with the deck. Didn't think the clothing was that great. Just the image printed all over the other stuff. And then the ID holder, like I said, I passed on that. I just didn't think it was worth 128, but really happy with the board. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about the Killer Collab. Um, I'm sure a lot of people didn't see it. I didn't see the movie until after um, Supreme announced the collaboration because I wanted to like educate myself. You know, that's why I like Supreme because they like do collabs with bands. They'll do collabs with uh, movies or artists, and you'll like ed you'll, they'll educate you. You know, um, and that's cool. You know, that's fine. I think that's fine for people to like you know get educated and want the stuff. This week was the, uh, what was the big hyped item this week? They did the Stormy T, which is real controversial, but let's say, okay. Supreme has been political since like the early 2000s with the fuck Bush stuff. They've always been political, so that stuff is expected, okay? So I don't get why people are getting mad, like don't put politics in. You know, it's so, it's so you know, touchy, but 
they've been doing this forever. If you're new to the brand, how are you gonna tell a company that's been doing this 20 years, don't be political? That's all I'm saying. Get the fuck out of here, you But yeah, they had the Stormy tee. I didn't even go for that. I got one item that I've wanted to get for a while, but I just don't trust the sizing. But I was like, fuck it, I'll go for it. I like it, and we'll see how it fits next week. So I'm excited to show you guys that video in the next Friday video of my pickups. There was also that the pen, which was like the most hyped item, but I don't even know if it sold out. I know it didn't sell out like 20 minutes later. But it was a $60 pen, that was pretty hyped up. The Melodica, that was, a lot of people were hyped up about that. I think that sold out. Um, the Pendle Hood sweatshirt, that got some views, but nothing really, like it was a really light week, except for that Stormy tee, which was US only. Um, long sleeve pocket tee, the camo one sold out, so a lot of people wanted that. And then the two-tone zip-up jacket, I think probably was the most, you know, like, popular item that week. Just like the box logo on top, two-tone like a nylon jacket. And then of course the Supreme collab, I mean the Supreme Levi's collab drop with it. The only thing I think that was real like sought after was the blue denim trucker jacket, everything else no one really cared about. But yeah, that was pretty much everything else that like dropped this week. Nothing really too crazy. So let me know what you guys picked up this week. We just thought of the killer collab. Stay tuned for um, week, what is it? Where are we on week 12? Week 12's drop list on Tuesday or Wednesday. And if there's a collab, we'll throw the collab in there too. Also, my pickup videos are always on Friday. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Mike.Kilwer. I appreciate it. I always sell stuff in my stories and post like Supreme pictures and clothing, stuff like that. So I appreciate the follows. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the collab once you picked up this week. Appreciate the interaction, communication. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video Tuesday or Wednesday. Thanks, guys.